thank you so much for being here and watching. Today I got my Boxy Lux for June. So today we're going to be unboxing this. I did try on some of the items, so I will insert clips. And then at the end of the video, I'm gonna do a quick review of the March Boxy Lux, talk about what items I kept, what I got rid of, what I'm still using, was it worth it? Uh, so yeah, let's get started. But before we do, I just wanna take a quick moment to say hi and welcome if you are new here. My name is Kitty. I do subscription box unboxings every single day here on our channel. So if you love beauty boxes, subscription boxes, I would absolutely love it if you subscribe that would mean so much to me so I wrote down the dimensions and the weight of my box in case you're still waiting on yours my box is 3.7 pounds or 1.68 kilograms and the dimensions are 14 by 7 by 5 I'll also list that down below I'll link boxycharm down below as well so this box comes out to be about $50 and it is every three months and it replaces your uh, regular ba boxycharm base box so this is what my box looks like. It's pretty long, kind of heavy too. Yeah, 3.7 pounds, that's heavy for a boxy. When you open it, this is what it looks like. So you don't have the foam. This month they have this like cardboard paper type stuff, which is probably uh, better so you can recycle it. And we do have a card, so no virtual insert. I have variation number 12. So we were able to customize two items, I believe, right? Yeah, I can only remember customizing two at least for Boxy Lux. So how about we start with those? One of the items we could customize was a lifestyle item and Boxy Lux is the only one of the three Boxy Charm subscriptions that features lifestyle. So the item I chose is a swell bottle. I use like bottles like this all the time. Like whenever I'm filling, whenever I'm doing anything, I have some sort of like water bottle next to me. And that just made me take a water break. Uh, but swell bottles are really good. So says the only bottle that looks great and does good. It has thermoswell technology that keeps cold or drinks cold for 24 hours or hot for 12. And Swell is proud to support charity partners to bring clean water to the world's poorest communities and protect our shared environment. It's great. And Swell bottles are pretty expensive. I don't know if I have actual, actually any Swell bottles. I have ones that look like it. Uh, yes, yeah, $35. I think it's cool how it comes in this case. I think the other options were like, a pillowcase and teeth whitener. Is that right? Someone correct me. But I got mine in pomegranate, so you could have gotten your swell bottle in a variety of colors and like patterns. So I like this one. I love like pink anything. And yeah, it's like a, what did you call this color? Magenta maybe? <laughs> I'm a little slow today. I did not sleep well last night, but I'm so excited to get this. Oh, there's something inside. Oh nice, they say by using this bottle you are reducing the number of plastic bottles in landfills and oceans and supporting charity partners and efforts to bring clean water to the world's poorest communities. I think that's awesome. And I will definitely use this and I am excited to have it. And then the other item I customized, let me find it, it's a skincare item. Some of my boxes came like opened and a little smushed but everything seems to be fine so far. But this is by Tula. This is the Tula Skincare Glowing Get It Cooling and Brightening Eye Balm. I honestly can't remember what the other options were for this category for customization. So if you guys know, please let us know down below. So this is in their probiotics and superfoods line. So this has probiotics in it to help lock in moisture, caffeine to give the skin a tight and firm appearance, and apple and watermelon deeply hydrate and reduce the look of lines. So it's supposed to be brightening, hydrating, cooling, and fills in the looks of lines and wrinkles. I could use that. I've been very like aware of my fine lines. Maybe they're just appearing or I don't know. But yeah, I have like a million eye products now. So I don't know why I chose this, but there must this must have been the better option. There's like a little safety seal thing on top. Ooh, it's blue. So I wonder what this feels like. I would be afraid of tugging on my eye. My eyes kind of look like a hot mess. <laughs> By the way, I'll get into it later. Oh my god, this does feel cooling. It doesn't have a... Maybe it has a little bit of a scent. You can't see it when I apply it on my hand. Maybe it looks a little bit more hydrated, but it doesn't have a blue tint or anything like that. And it definitely feels cooling. So that's nice. And it doesn't feel too hard that it would tug too much on your eyes. But if you're worried about that, you can always like put it on your finger and then tap it in. So this eye balm is $28. And it says it delivers a lit from within glow while instantly hydrating, cooling, and filling in fine lines around the eyes. You'll feel awake with this eye balm and look refreshed and energized so you can glow and get it. Ooh, this even has lactic acid in it. Hyaluronic acid. So yeah, I'm excited to use this actually. I'm glad I selected this. But again, I can't remember what the other option was. 
Uh, one item that I had no idea that was coming in any of the boxy Lux uh, boxes is actually something I have and I've been using for the past two weeks. This is by Pure Heels, which is a Korean skincare brand. This is their Propolis 80 sleeping mask. And I didn't know the cost of this. It's expensive. It's $55. I received this in my Skin Star box, and I've been using all the items from that. It was a complete Korean skincare regimen. Uh, so I grabbed mine, and I've been using this every single night. So I'm not going to take mine out of the box. I may include this in a future giveaway, like when we hit 10K, or I'm not sure what I'll do with it. But it says this is a sleeping mask enriched with 80% honeybee propolis extract that provides full nourishment and glowing skin for tired skin while you sleep. And I really like Propolis, so it really helps with, like uh, like they said, tired, dry skin. But also it helps reduce redness, and I get pretty red. So it kind of looks like honey colored, and it's pretty thin. Like, I've been going through the moisturizer in my regimen, like, faster than this. Uh, so, yeah, I apply this after my moisturizer is the last step in my skincare routine. And I feel like my skin's been pretty good. Like, today doesn't look too dry or anything. And usually it does when I don't sleep well. So, I am, yeah, loving it so far. I think that's really cool. They're including more Korean skincare. I believe this is the second item we've received in a boxy charm from Pure Heels. The first item was like a peel off mask, I believe, or was that Ipsy? I confuse the boxes sometimes, but I know we got something. Oh, no, I just talked about it in my boxy charm pre. It was the Centella Serum, and I really like that. So, an enriched sleeping mask providing full nourishment and glowing skin. Okay, so it says the same thing. Uh, the Propolis Extract forms a wa water oil protective barrier that soothes irritated sensitive skin. So I think a lot of you guys will like this if you get it in your box. I'm assuming this is a variation item because I haven't heard anything about it, but to be fair or honest, I have not watched really any other videos yet. What? We've been getting a lot of billion dollar brushes, haven't we? Billion dollar brow brushes? <laughs> I guess these aren't brow brushes. This is their charcoal brush set. It says their bristles are infused with charcoal for an antimicrobial effect. Uh, it's vegan, charcoal infused bristles, like you said. Oh, it's bamboo charcoal infused bristles. Vegan, no artificial dyes, cruelty free. And it looks like we get a powder brush, contour brush, concealer brush, eyeshadow brush, and highlight brush. I don't know if I want to keep this. I have so many brushes and I've been getting better about cleaning them so I ha realize how many I actually have. So let's learn a little bit more about this. Wow, this brush set's $55. And it says these vegan, cruelty free, and synthetic brushes are char charcoal infused for antimicrobial effect along for flawless makeup and eyeshadow application. Yeah, we got just like a double-sided brush by them uh, in the BoxyCharm Premium, or at least I did, uh, and it was like $30. I'm just going to briefly take them out. Does it have a thing on it? Because I might pass this on along with that other brush I got. Uh, but they look nice. They have like a thicker handle if you like that. Some people I know like the smaller ones, but yeah, it looks like there are six brushes in here. So that makes more sense, the price point, $55. Like the other brush, 30 I don't know. Yeah, I'm not sure if I'll keep this or not, just because honestly I don't need more brushes, but I am intrigued. But even if they are antimicrobial, you definitely want to be good about washing your brushes, especially like around your eye and on your face. Like, I was thinking about that. I was so bad about cleaning my brushes for so long, and sometimes I get acting like it's really visible today. I'm self-conscious about it. Uh, I'm like, ew, I could just be spreading the same bacteria in my face like every day, like I need to clean them more. So I wonder if this would like extend the time. I don't know. I'd still want to clean them. But I'd re I much prefer getting a brush set opposed to like the double ended brush we got in the last box. Now the next item I know some people are excited to get, but honestly I'm not. This is by Kylie Skin by Kylie Jenner and it's a foaming face wash. I typically don't prefer foaming face washes because I feel like they can be a little stripping, but I heard this one like people do like, I think like much more than her scrub. Was it a walnut scrub, almond scrub? Uh, so it says in here, our luxurious foaming face wash is infused with ultra nourishing kiwi seed oil packed with vitamin C and E to help maintain moisture and improve elasticity. This gentle formula cleanses the skin by helping to remove dirt, oil, and makeup for a fresh, bright complexion. $24. Was this the one that she was like faking putting on in the video once? This is what it looks like. I mean, I think the pink is super cute, but I'll probably pass this on just because I have so much skincare I'm already reviewing and I'm just not really interested in it. I feel like I'm being negative again today, but there's items I like in here too. Oh, it looks like we have like a card for this as well. Oh, there's a $5 off code, uh, Boxy5, if you want to shop on Kylie's website. And your skin does look good there, but... 
Now the next thing, I already knew I was getting in a wrong shade because BoxyCharm emailed me. Uh, and this is a Pure Lease Perfect Glow BB Cream. And they sent me the shade Tan, which is like comical, but I actually already own this in their lightest shade possible, I believe, Fair. So I did put this on today. I will show you guys uh, me applying this in just a moment. So this BB Cream is $35 and it says, Complexion perfection for a gorgeous matte meets dewy finish. Your multitasking beauty balm glides on like a tinted moisturizer with all the age-defying coverage and sunscreen benefits of a foundation and BB cream. So I've had this for a little while. I got it in like a Birchbox haul. I think I filmed it uh, in the past. And I usually like I do my makeup every day to film because I film so many videos, especially lately. I feel like I've been getting so many boxes. And I prefer more like uh, full coverage, uh, especially lately like since I have some like hormonal breakouts around my chin. But I do think this is good for like every day. I love that it has SPF in it. So I applied it today in a few different ways because I couldn't really remember like my thoughts on it or what works best. I think what works best with this is just like using your fingers and then I go in with a sponge after to like kind of press it in and make it more even. Uh, it definitely evens out your skin tone, I would say, but it does not like cover up blemishes. It'll make them look a little bit better. Um, and I didn't put any concealer on top of them because I feel like that would have made it look more like noticeable since I had such like a light coverage BB cream. I didn't want to put like a heavy concealer on. But yeah, it doesn't seem buildable. I tried to add some more to those spots. Uh, but overall, it doesn't look too bad. Like with almost everything, there is like uh, some... It's kind of in my fine lines on my forehead, which are more emphasized today probably because I didn't sleep much. Uh, but yeah, if you like BB creams, it does give you like a natural finish. They see it's like matte meets dewy finish. And I'd agree. And they also say on here that you can uh, just wear it alone or for extra coverage, wear it under foundation. I was thinking about adding a foundation over it today, but I wanted to show you guys what it actually looks like. I actually took a shot on myself and my iPhone and natural light to show you guys because I don't know if you can tell um, as well like the redness and stuff but even on my phone like I feel like in person it looks better than I did on my phone clip I took maybe like there's white balance on my iPhone too I don't know Cause sometimes I feel like on camera like especially when I don't have makeup on I look more red than I do in real life even though I am definitely red but yeah so it's a bummer they sent me the wrong shade but I mean I already had the correct one I don't think Back to Charm has ever sent me the correct shade before but this is the first time they like admitted their mistake and they were way off tan uh, I'm obviously not going to open this because that would just be a waste I'm going to pass this on uh, but they did give me $12 add-on credit for this it would have been nice if they gave it like $35, but yeah, so I don't know what's going on with them. They don't seem to be going by their profile. Did that happen to you guys? If you got this BB cream in your box, uh, did they give you the correct shade or did they give you the wrong shade? And if it was the wrong shade, did you guys get add-on credit? I would love to know your experience. Next up, we received a palette by Tarte, and this is their Tartus Pro Amazonian Clay Palette. And we received one of their Pro palettes in the March box, actually, and that one's way more colorful. This is definitely, oh, this box is nice. This is definitely like a nude palette. So this is what it looks like. Or you got fingerprints all over it. I do like these palettes because they have like great mirrors. Hi. Uh, so this is what it looks like. And my eye look like it went kind of like or I like off camera but I've been doing such colorful fun looks lately that I feel like I look so like boring today but these shadows just like the other palette I've tried uh, by them they blend out so effortlessly and really work well together so um, I set my eyes with at first like classic up here but then I went in with like and mixed it in with vintage which is more of a white shade because classic showed up a little yellow on my skin I always like to set my eyes before I do my eyeshadow so I use the MAC painterly paint pot I'm trying to use that up since it's not cruelty free I always use that as my eye base and then I set it and then I went in with uh, chic or chick in my crease and then I darkened it up a little bit with pro fesh and then I went in with these two shimmers on top, like on the side. These really intrigued me. At first I wanted to go for this more like bluish, like duochrome shade. Uh, that looks really cool. But I just did a look yesterday that kind of looks like that. And it seems similar to a shade that's actually in the Tardis Pro Remix. Uh, and since this is such a neutral, everyday type palette, I thought I would do more of a neutral look with it because that's what most people do. And yeah, I think it's great. So it's mostly mattes and then four of the shimmers and then one duochrome. Uh, so three shimmers and one duochrome and yeah I love the formula 
But now that I'm liking more bold looks, I don't know how often I'll use this, but it's so easy to use. I feel like I will like reach for this for like quick everyday looks if like, oh, I'm going out. Uh, and maybe not, yeah, I wanna use some of these like red and purple shades in here next. Maybe I'll use this in like a get ready with me. I, I've been trying to catch up on filming, but I still have so much to do, but my film list is like a get ready with me using all like boxy items or something. So maybe I'll do a different look like that with this or maybe another palette, I don't know. But I am happy to have this and I can't wait to use it some more. And this is $49. So this is like pretty much what we paid for the box. And here it says, prepare for an expression explosion. Bring passionate about, or being passionate about pigment. The sequel to the OG Pro palette came to play. This rich, vibrant, 20 shades superstar was formulated to celebrate all forms of art and expression. It's ready to rock your world and remix yourself. And then we have one last item, and this is by Bodyography, and it's a set of two lip liners. I just used one today, but I did swatch both of them in the try and portion that I'll include. Uh, so we received in the shade Pouty, and then in Rosewood. So I put Pouty on my lips today. It's kind of like my lip shade but better type of shade for me. Uh, so I did end up putting a little bit of gloss on after off camera. But this is $28 and it says antioxidant lip pencils that glide on like your favorite lipstick with precise pigment rich color to frame, fill in, and define the lips. Enriched with coconut oil and vitamin E. I actually love using lip liners and then putting a gloss on top lately. I feel like using the lip liner underneath really like prolongs the color of the gloss and just stays on longer all day. Um, so I was happy to get these and at first I thought they were kind of dry when I was swatching them on my hand but they easily warmed up so if you have a problem with that I would suggest just warming them up on your hand um, before putting them on your lips. I almost said eyes. Uh, but yeah, happy to have these. And that was everything. I do think this box is better than the Box of Charm Premium I opened earlier. Well I posted it uh, earlier today uh, but I filmed it yesterday. So I'm going to add up the total. I believe we were supposed to get a retail value of at least $275. Yep, the total retail value of this box is $309, so that's great. So some things I'm not keeping, and I did get the wrong shade of something, but I do think everything they sent overall is great. Like, even though I already have this Pure Heels mask, I'm so glad they feature it in the box so more of you guys can try it. I think it's really good. Um, and the BB cream, uh, I would have liked to get a more full coverage foundation and one in the right shade, but I do think this is good for every day. I know not everyone wears full coverage foundation, especially in the summertime, so I think it actually makes sense they include it in this one. The um, eye balm, I'm intrigued to try since it has that cooling feel. I wonder if it'll help with my puffiness. And I don't care about the Kylie Skin product. That doesn't really add any value to me. I'm excited about the water bottle, the, sh the palette. I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep the brushes, but overall I think this was a good boxy look. So I would love to know if you guys got your box, what you selected uh, for your customization, and if you enjoyed your box, what else you got, what variation you got, are we box twins? Let's talk boxes down in the comments section. But now let's transition quickly just to talk about the items I received in the March box. So I just like wrote them down here. So the March look, boxy lux uh, was $295 in value, at least my box was, and my favorite item for sure was this Tarte palette and again this is what it looks like so it's definitely more colorful uh, but the shadows perform so similarly and there's way more shimmers than mattes in this palette. I think this was so fun. I had to like make myself stop using it because I had other palettes to test out. Uh, the last month, or I, not last month, last box, last Boxy Luxe, we received two palettes actually. Uh, the other one was like the Boxy Charm palette. I didn't try it in that video. I tried the other one on the Tarte one, but I ended up passing on the Boxy Charm palette. I just heard bad things that just didn't interest me and they like way overpriced it from what I can remember. So yeah, I passed Pass it on. Then we got this like expensive cleaning device by PMG and I kind of forgot about it. For some reason cleaning devices just like gross me out. I just want to like clean them before I use them and I'm lazy. But uh, this was a good reminder for me to start using it. Like one side has is for cleaning and the other one's like for applying serums and stuff. So I like doing these reviews so I can kind of come back to things and you know decide what to do with them. And I definitely want to continue trying this out since I haven't in a while. I received two nail polishes by Deborah Lippman. I've actually been using them, so I do like these. I didn't use them until recently, but I think they're pretty summery shades. And then one item I totally forgot about that I really liked was this Becca Glow Stick. Uh, this is best for like no makeup days. I should have put that on today. Like, 
I don't know, something about it's so pretty. By the way, I'll link my video for March if you guys wanna watch that and get like um, more in depth like reviews because this is really quick. I don't wanna make this video a million years long. Uh, and then we got a duo from Sol de Janeiro and we got the Boom Boom Cream and then the like, Coco Cabana Cream. I do not like the texture of the Coco Cabana Cream. It's more jelly -like and it feels like sticky after you put it on, but I love this Boom Boom Cream. Uh, I have a few of these little ones somehow now and oh, it smells so good. Uh, I love that, so I was happy to get this. It is teeny, but still nice to have. I wouldn't consider it a full size, but maybe because it came in like a duo, that's why we got it in here. Uh, and the next item I gave away, I think I actually had a little giveaway in that video. This is a NARS Purple Liquid Lipstick I wrote down. So yeah, NARS is not cruelty free, so I gave that away. And then I also received as my lifestyle item uh, the stainless steel like straw set, and I do use those. I use uh, reusable straws all the time at home, so I, I do like those. I actually um, think I prefer bamboo straws, so I use those more frequently, but the stainless steel definitely gets used. But yeah, I think that was everything. Um, anyways, thank you guys so much for being here and unboxing with me. I hope you're all safe and healthy. I love you so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.